The Gigantic Book of Genes by Lorna Hendry. What is genetics? People can look quite different, but children are often very like their parents. You might have straight dark hair and brown eyes like your mother or curly fair hair and blue eyes like your father. People may tell you that you smile or laugh or walk just like someone else in your family. Genetics is about how traits like these are passed down from one generation to the next. The blueprint for a life. The cells of every plant and animal contain genes. They are too small to be seen without a microscope. Genes are like an instruction manual that tells a plant or animal what it looks like, how it grows, and how it survives in its environment. On or off. Every cell in your body contains all the information that is needed to make you but only a fraction of the genes in each individual cell are turned on. Each cell only turns on the genes it needs. That is why brain cells, blood cells, bone cells, and skin cells are all different. On, off. It's all in the timing. Some genes only turn on a particular times of your life. As you grow, your body needs special proteins to do special jobs. So new genes turn on and get to work. The genes control how your body changes and develops as you get older, how healthy you are, and how long you live. The magic of DNA. Genes are sections of DNA, short for Deoxyribonuclease acid. DNA is made of four chemical bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. The way these bases are ordered in the DNA is the code that makes up all life. Up close, DNA looks a bit like a twisted ladder. Two long strands are held together by bonds between the bases. They wind around each other in a shape called a double helix. Copycat. Cells multiply by making copies of themselves. That's how our bodies grow and change. When a cell divides its DNA and zips down the middle, new bases bind to the loose ends of each strand, creating two copies of the DNA, one for each of the new cells. Sometimes tiny mistakes are made in the code when the DNA is being copied. This is how changes or mutations in our DNA happen. New copy of DNA, original DNA, DNA strand unzipping, new copy of DNA. How far? If you took all the DNA in your body and wound, it and stretched it out into a single strand, it would reach all the way to Pluto and back again. Chromosomes. Tightly wound clumps of DNA from chromosomes. Chromosomes almost always come in pairs. Most people have 23 pairs of chromosomes. You get one set of 23 chromosomes from each of your biological parents. Your 46 chromosomes contain about 23,000 genes. They carry all the information your cells need to make you exactly the way you are. Girl or boy, one pair of human chromosomes looks different to the rest. The tall one in the circle above is the X chromosome. And the short one is the Y chromosome. If you have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome, XY, 
you are a boy. If you have two X chromosomes, XX, you are a girl. Taste test. Do you really, really hate broccoli? You might have a gene that makes you very sensitive to things that taste bitter, like black coffee, spinach, grapefruit juice, and green tea. People with this gene are sometimes called super tasters. Many chefs are super tasters. Or you might like vegetables more as you get a bit older. Who's the boss? Genes can be dominant or recessive. If you have one dominant gene and one recessive gene, the dominant one will be in control. The gene for brown eyes is dominant, and the gene for blue eyes is recessive. If you get a brown eye gene from one parent and a blue eye gene from the other, you'll have brown eyes. Peas in a pod. The first person to study how traits are inherited was a monk called Gregor Mendel, who started experimenting with pea plants in his garden in 1853. Over seven years, he grew more than 30,000 plants. Mendel proved that some traits were dominant, like flowers being purple, other traits were recessive, like flowers being white. His work was ignored for more than 30 years, but he is now known as the founder of modern genetics. Test your genes. Did you know that some people can roll their tongue, but other people can't? The ability to roll your tongue is controlled by a dominant gene. If neither of your parents can roll their tongue, that means neither of them have a copy of that dominant gene because they couldn't pass a tongue rolling gene onto you. You won't be able to roll your tongue either. Damaged DNA. Many things in the environment, such as the chemicals in cigarette smoke and pollution or UV light from the sun, can change your DNA. This makes it hard for your body to fight diseases and can make you very sick. One big family. All animals and plants share a single ancestor that lived about 1.6 billion years ago. The first cell that could make an exact copy of itself was the start of all life on Earth. Surprising relatives. The species most closely related to humans is chimpanzees. Up to 98% of their DNA is exactly the same as ours. Cats share 90% of their DNA with us. Dogs share 82% and mice share 70%. Even funnier, bananas and humans share half of their DNA. Bigger and better? You might think that if an organism has lots of genes, it must be bigger and more complicated than plants and animals with fewer genes. This is not always true. Scientists think that only 15% of humans' genes, just 3,320, are essential for life. Flu virus, 11 genes. E. coli. 4,400 genes. Fruit fly, 14,900 genes. Chicken, 16,700 genes. Human, 23,000 genes. Grape, 29,400 genes. Test your genes. Pull your hair back from your forehead and look closely at the shape of your hairline. Does your hair grow straight across or does it come down to a point in the center of your forehead? If it comes to a point, you have a widow's peak. 
This is because of a dominant gene. If you do have this, check your parents' hairlines to see who you inherited it from. We are all the same. Genetically, all human beings are almost exactly the same. 99.9% .9 of our DNA is identical. That means there is only 0.1% different between us. This pink dot takes up 0.1% of this page. Genetic fingerprint. Tiny differences in just 0.1% of your DNA make you different from everyone else on the planet. Your DNA, just like your fingerprints, is unique. Because there is DNA in every cell of your body, the smallest piece of blood, skin, or hair can be used to identify you. You leave traces of DNA behind on everything that you touch. Tricky questions. Genetic fingerprints can solve mysteries. DNA from hair or blood found at a crime scene can help police find the criminal. Some people have been set free after spending many years in prison for crimes they didn't commit. DNA evidence has proved they were innocent. Blood relations. You get half of your DNA from each of your biological parents. In turn, they got their DNA from their parents. The DNA you get from your parents is random. Any siblings you have will get a different, random combination of DNA from your parents. You share some DNA with everyone in your extended family. The more closely related you are, the more DNA you would expect to share. Grandfather, grandmother, uncle, aunt, father, mother, uncle, aunt, cousins, brother, sister, cousins. Test your genes. Traits you can in inherit from your parents include freckles, red hair, dimples, and curls. Parents who have curly hair or dimples usually pass those traits on to their children. But red hair is caused by a recessive gene. Your parents might not have red hair, but you probably have an uncle, aunt, cousin, or grandparent who does. Red hair and freckles are genetically linked, so they tend to go together. Same, but different. Identical twins receive exactly the same set of genes from their parents. That's why they look the same. Over time, as their chromosomes replicate and they have different experiences, identical twins become less similar. Geneticists can see very tiny differences in their DNA. Families. The more closely related to someone you are, the more DNA you share. That's why people and families often look sound and behave like each other. DNA testing can prove who is related to who and even help to identify long lost relatives. The first pets. All dogs are descended from wolves. The evolution of the wild wolf to the domestic dog began around the time of the first ice age. When living with people made it easier for dogs to survive, many modern dogs are much smaller and friendlier than wolves. And they have shorter muscles and smaller teeth. Evolution. Small changes in the DNA of an organism can change how its cells work. These changes are called mutations. Sometimes mutations make an animal or plant better at surviving in its environment. Because the new plant or animal is better suited to its environment, it will be more successful in passing on its genes to the next generation.
over a very long time and with lots and lots of successful mutations, an entirely new species can be formed. This process is called evolution. Shark or dolphin, animals with different genes can look very similar. Sharks are fish and dolphins are mammals, but they both have fins, flippers, and the same body shape. They have evolved and adopted to live in the same environment. Ancient history. All humans evolved from ape-like ancestors in Africa. Over a period of six million years, there are thought to have been up to twenty different species of early humans during this time. The only species to survive is Homo sapiens, which is the scientific name for humans and means a wise person. Modern humans. First lived in Africa more than two hundred thousand years ago. Distant relatives. About one hundred thousand years ago, there were four species of humans living on Earth. One of these was Homo neanderthalensis, or neander. Humans and Neanderthals lived alongside each other and sometimes bred together. We can still see traces of Neanderthal DNA in the cells of some human beings today. Test your genes. When you clasp your hands together, is your left or right thumb on top? If your left thumb is over your right thumb, like the person in this picture, you have at least one copy of a dominant gene. If your right thumb is over your left, you have two copies of a recessive gene. Ask everyone in your family to clasp their hands and see if anyone has two recessive genes. The best you, the genes you inherited. From your parents and grandparents, all played a part in making you exactly the way you are. But it is what you make of those genes that matters. Be the best you that you can be.